beautiful and we're seeing a really nice evening across the board uh, from all of our cameras. 62 degrees and calm there out in Seaside from our Shiloh Inns camera. Radar has been quiet so far, but we know we have some uh, drizzle chances, I'll say, heading to the coast overnight and early tomorrow morning. Uh, we should be staying dry here in the Portland metro area. This is the view along the Columbia River in Vancouver from our Mary Hill tasting room and bistro camera. It's 71 degrees here right now. Let's take a look at our high temperatures in Portland the last couple of weeks. So we've been enjoying some warm weather, uh, summer kind of continuing for us here in the Portland metro area. We've seen those temperatures in the 80s the last three days. Really warm yesterday. We hit 89 degrees at the Portland airport, 84 degrees today. Uh, and just a reminder, we are seeing those average high temperatures this time of year dropping. So average high temperature for Portland today, 79 degrees uh, before too long. It's going to be in, you know, the mid 70s. So that steep drop off of temperatures uh, should be continuing here over the next couple of months. Uh, tomorrow will certainly feel a little bit more like fall out there. Let's walk through our graph forecast model here. Uh, this is that weak system that's coming through. So this is 4 a.m. Uh, tomorrow. Really just a little bit of drizzle headed to uh, the coast. We should be staying dry here in the valleys, but a slight drizzle chance is, uh, is okay to say, I think, for the I-5 corridor. It is going to be quite a bit cloudier, though. We just saw kind of those thin high clouds today. Uh, it'll definitely look more gray out there tomorrow. Little bit of clearing happening in the afternoon. You can see how those clouds break apart just a little bit. Uh, and Tuesday, I do think we're going to see partly cloudy skies, maybe mostly sunny here, it looks like, to start. But we've got another disturbance uh, bringing in more drizzle chances, mostly just for the coast and up in uh, southwest Washington over the day on Tuesday. We'll just see kind of clouds moving overhead from time to time here in Portland. Then we get to Wednesday. Mm, things starting to change here. You can see how we had a little bit of morning cloud cover and then lots of sunshine on the way Wednesday afternoon. So uh, we're going to see another ridge of high pressure building that's going to clear our skies and start to warm us up midweek and beyond. Uh, pulling up our rain forecast here just to show you again, this is really weak stuff that's heading to the coast uh, overnight tonight. Uh, this model spitting out about a tenth of an inch, if that, uh, for those coastal communities through Tuesday evening. All right, Portland tomorrow, cloudy start. A cooler lunch will be in the mid 60s there around, or excuse me, upper 60s around the lunch hour. A little bit of clearing through the afternoon and uh, temperatures will be topping out in the mid 70s. So that's an eight to 10 degree swing from today. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, clouds kind of gradually clearing as we head towards midweek. We'll be in the upper 70s by Wednesday back in on Thursday with lots of afternoon sunshine. And then take a look at Friday, Saturday. That hasn't changed uh, since last night. Models indicating we could see temperatures around 90 degrees both Friday and Saturday. Things dropping off just a little bit on Sunday. But uh, as you can see, glimmers of summer still kind of holding on in here. Thanks, Camilla.